Hello, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Starships. I'm Mr. Kilimanjaro, and uh, thank you for joining me again uh, as we continue on our journey through the stars. So, um, just a, a quick thing before we started this time, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the game and other, review and, uh, other reviews that I've read. Um, so, I having, having chatted to some people on Steam about this, they uh, said that some stuff that the developers said kind of misled them about how the game would actually be. Um, two features in particular, um, that there'd be a kind of stronger scientific element to the game, and that the game would involve a, a lot of exploration, I suppose. Um, if these were kind of like explicit promises, I still haven't found the original sources where this stuff was said, then I guess, you know, in a way that it's the game hasn't really come out like that. Um, the science is quite set and standard, it's just buffs for your ships, really, uh, and the exploration, explorative element isn't as strong as uh, as other games, um, I guess, where, I mean, because the, the planets are all just there, you find them, you kind of go to them, you do stuff, and then that's kind of that. It's not as strong as, say, um, I guess the strongest explorative game I could think of would probably be something like the first Mass Effect, where you found planets and got to deploy to the surface and go around and find stuff on them. That was that was quite cool and exciting. Um, but obviously this game was never going to be exactly like that. Um, so at the risk of repeating myself, I'm just going to kind of say it again. I, I think it's down to expectation management. Um, although this isn't the strongest game, it's still enjoyable. And if you've enjoyed watching and seeing some of the stuff from it, then, you know, that's, that's kind of worth the money ultimately you know it's not a triple a game it's not supposed to last you for for years and years not that most of them do anyway but yeah i think you just have to kind of take it more on face value i guess um so having said that uh when we load up our game uh we are supremacy and we'll keep rolling right so it's been a little while since i played actually so forgive me for if i just take a second to kind of reacquaint myself with with how things are going. If I remember correctly, we uh, just did the first mission on Sculptor, so we've got it effectively under our, our, our influence for now. Uh, we'll come back uh, for it next time. Um, so the question is what to do with the, the rest of our very short term before we uh, go back onto shore leave. Um, before we, I will, we will eventually come for Tortuga, but it's going to be a big fleet action. We're going to need a bigger fleet before we do that. Um, so, uh, perhaps sooner rather than later, depending if I can find any other planets around here, um, we may be reaching the point where we kind of sit tight uh, and just accrue our resources and hope that we can uh, upgrade our fleet enough to kind of winter the coming inevitable wars that are going to be breaking out. Um, uh, let's have a look here, see if there's anything further. Um, well, so we acquired a, a card or megabots. Um, there seems to be anything more in that direction. Um, I have a feeling that we won't be able to to uh, jump further than here. At any rate, we'd exhaust ourselves getting there. That'd be a, a, an interesting planet to look at. But I have a feeling that these two are the links to it, and this isn't a link to it. We'll we'll check that out maybe. Um, but yeah, so. Having said that, we'll um, go on shore leave. So those are the new missions that have popped up. Purple's got Aquari. Ooh, here comes green. That's the first we've seen of them. Yeah. They've got three ships currently. Interesting. Okay. Uh, wow, they've got quite a lot of worlds. Uh, the system is quite a good one though. Yellow seems to be holding pretty tight for now. They seem to have uh, exhausted their expansion. That must be a pirate planet, I think. Um, it must be the other one since it's not been taken. Um, um, maybe we'll come back later and double check if we can do that. Uh, well, first things first, let's um, do the management. We need a... Um, Oh, right, no, we looked at this before. We need our warp nexus. Operational. Excellent. Um, Biofuel more energy. Operational. Uh, right, so with the rest of it, it might be worth thinking about getting another wonder, because um, those are quite helpful. Um, 
so let's remind ourselves what we got. We have uh, damage control, which allows us to prevent critical hits, so that's obviously very useful. We have um, tight squeeze, which allows our fighters to move freely through small asteroid fields, which would be useful for kind of pop out flanks, definitely. Uh, great Shipyard reduces ship repair cost by 50%. That would also be really useful. We could actually afford that this turn, possibly. Um, and here, warp, yeah, warp Control, which we've seen, it allows us to use multiple jump gates during Starship battles. Um, I think I'm actually going to go with this, because that's uh, reduced repair cost is going to be very helpful. Um, so, we built the Great Shipyard. Uh, we're down quite a lot of metal. We ought to be anyway. The credits, it's food. Alright, energy. Yeah, that's sorry, the actually the I just noticed that the uh it's not very clear what's attaching to what. Like that number's much closer to that icon, which isn't particularly well designed, I think. Um Yeah, so we only have two hundred credits left, but that's okay. We've got quite a lot of science, so let's check out our science. Um, obviously we've pumped quite a lot into field theory, um, why don't we get ion? Completed ion energy level one. So it's extra plasma damage and we'll let the rest tick over. Um, so the other thing to do is food, uh, who has, that's got three cities, four, three, four, two, All right, so we can put a new city here. Down to two five two five. Um, so how about somewhere else? Um, we've had Aura Gay for a while, so let's spend fifteen hundred on that. We ought not to be able to afford anywhere else now. Yeah, okay. So we'll let the food take over. Um, let's have a look at our fleet. Wow, four thousand one hundred. So yeah, as you can see later on in the game, you start really pumping out the the energy, um, which should make upgrades quite nice and and expansive. Um, right, so let's generically overhaul. I mean, it's quite expensive, but it's worth having that kind of, that big ship, uh, which can pump out the damage. Um, let's put on the bigger plasma cannon too. Right, now this is going to be our carrier. Well, actually, we've said that, but since it's already got a plasma point on it, Maybe we should keep it for something else and use one of these laser destroyers as the as the carrier. Why don't we go with the Courageous? We'll make the Courageous our carrier. Um, in which case we'll put on slightly better shields and better speed. Alright, so we're down to a thousand. Where's the rest going to go? Um... Extra laser point for that for that great damage. Um, uh, all right, so these pips refer to the the level tech you have in it. I see. I was always confused as to why these didn't move when I clicked them. So yeah, sorry. I just realised that the pips here uh, refer to the relevant um, uh, upgrades you have from the science stuff. It's not counting the number of upgrades you put into it or anything like that. Okay. Um, Speed's quite low here, so let me put that on. I'll make you a bit faster. Uh, but really, we need to up your damage so you can compete. Um, we'll make you another plasma-based one. We'll keep the 211 for repairs, since it should be cheaper now anyway. Right, so that's our fleet slightly pimped. Um, let's go cap Sculptorus, um, which we should be able to complete with the minimal amount of moves. Um, those are warp nexa, nexi, uh, really helping to keep morale high. Uh, and we'll go in for the Morovian experiment. Um, which will give us 900 metals. Approaching Always happy for. I think I've done this one before. The start of the system is preparing to flare, and our research station is in peril. Marauders appear to be gathering to leave the facility. Will you help to evacuate the outpost? Sure we will. Displaying planetary information. Dense microparticles in this quadrant will damage all starships. 2 HP per move. Yeah, so that's quite awkward. We, we lose health steadily as the thing goes on. Although it applies to everyone else too. 
Yes, we have to protect the colony ship. Chance of mission success, 95%. So, start with a corvette. Uh, destroyer comes in. Ooh, a carrier. So, three carriers coming in every other turn, it seems, between corvettes and destroyers. So, that'll be interesting. We'll need to take those out before, because obviously each one carries three three ships a pop, so that's potentially a lot of starships they can put out. Um, I'm happy with how our starships look, though. So, yes, yes let's get in there. So the colony ship just needs to move to the war portal. Uh, well, we start with some stealth fighters. Excellent. Uh, where is this war portal they speak of? There is that war portal they speak of. So that's not too bad. Um, right, so how are we going to do this? Uh, I think we're going to basically send a guard contingent forward and we'll leave a couple of people behind to take this one out. Um, you're just going to be shooting out fighters, essentially. Um, so, obviously we just saw they lost HP for those moves. Um, let's that launch fighters. Annoying. We're going to try and keep them moving down to a, 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 as, as little as possible. Um, will we be able to get shots off? If possible... No, it's 100% blocked by that asteroid. That is an annoying asteroid right there. Um, but at any rate, fighters ought not to be damaged. Oh no, they are as well. That's annoying. Well, let's finish it off. Cool. Right, and then we're going to make a more or less kind of straight run for it. Um, do we need to be worried about being in cover? Uh, like I've said before, they don't tend to be able to hit you on the first turn, and I don't want to waste turns damaging ourselves unnecessarily. Um, move the Dauntless up to put out your fighters, and uh, the Courageous, we won't move anymore this turn. Um, we'll move the Audacious fighters. Launched. fighters uh, Engaging stealth. Stealth and let's move you up. Get another one down here. Alright, so that's fine. Engaging self-system. Repairs cool. completed. Oh, sweet. That was the end of the turn. Oh damn. Sorry. I the turn ended rather... Ugh, it's annoying when it does this. Because the, the turn ends are so unceremonious, sometimes I just cl keep clicking end turn. So I did that, and there's now no way to reverse it, so the colony ship is now stuck here for a turn. Unfortunately. But we'll move the rest of ourselves up. Um, fighter's obviously not taking damage. Um, uh, I'm happy to leave you here, actually. Um, and we'll move you guys to cover that flank. And we'll move the uh, Audacious with you. And fighters you've got some more fighters. And then we'll move the. Uh, God damn it. <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Um, right. Alright, so it's. Engaging self systems. Repairs completed. And. You're fine. Repairs you're completed. Fine. Enemy right, there's a Corvette. Okay, so we can move again. Um, let's get up real close. Um, you can't get a shot, but we'll move you up so you can. Yeah, so upgraded lasers really making the difference there. Um, in the interest of like not damaging anyone, I'm just going to kind of let them sit, actually. Um, Aside from the fighters, the fighters can move out in case they can get to slightly better positions. Keep clicking the wrong things. <laughs> um, all right. Repairs completed. Repairs completed. Oh, okay, carrier came, popped out fighters. Um. So the question is, do we want to sit and, and grind and uh, get our XP up, or do we want to finish this off? Um, 
I'm gonna try and use this opportunity to grind a little bit, I think, actually. Just because it will be helpful for crews. Um, shields disabled. Right, so we disable those shields. Um, can finish off with some slices. Nice shot. And put those slices here. Oh, that's the Black Sheep Squadron. I uh, I just saw Chappie last night, so it made me think of that. Which is a, is a pretty good film, actually, if you feel like seeing it. Um, right, well, again, we're going to kind of sit fairly tight. Uh, we'll move right up close in case we have to move, but completed. we'll leave it. Engaging Carrier goes. Is this our carrier? Yeah. Oh, put you up in the middle. I think we still have one more set of fighters to pop. Enemy reinforcements detected. Alright, there's a Corvette. Going stealth, but it really doesn't matter. Um, that's only 6 HP of damage. Alright, so we want you. See, that's quite far for the audacious, since it's using plasma, but that's okay. Um, you don't get a shot through the planet, you won't get a shot through the asteroid field. Oh no, you will. Okay. Well, nice shot. Hold up for the XP, and we're just going to end everyone else's turns. We have been detected by the enemy. Oh, it didn't even put our fighters this time. Um, right, so th these these are some of the issues we were I, I was worrying about anyway. Um, what happens if they get into awkward positions? But we should. Mm, that is annoying. Uh, don't think anyone else will be able to get a shot other than the stealth fighter. The stealth fighter ought to be able to finish it. Okay. Enemy reinforcements detected. Cool, that. Uh, could you get the kill? Yeah. So now that we're going to have to get all these repairs done to the ship, but it, it, at least it'll be cheaper now, firstly, and secondly, the XP is useful. Might as well get all these crews up while we can. Enemy reinforcements detected. Alright, there's another carrier. Um, Kind of moved off a bit awkwardly. Um, kill those quite easily, but I guess we could kill them with the courageous. Nice shot. And we can use our fighters on the carrier proper. But actually, they won't get to fire from that. I forgot about that. Oh no, they will. Enemy fighter bay disabled. Oh, well, that was that's just fantastic. Uh. Alright, let's move up. And... Oh, that can't still be blocked. I don't really understand that block, particularly, I have to be honest. Oh. Well, I guess we're going to have to sit tight. It can only shoot, it can't. Um, it ought not to be able to actually hit us properly at all. That's a shame. If we get another shot now, we could probably finish it. Um, maybe. No. Engaging stealth systems. Okay. Well, everyone else is gonna have to. Enemy reinforcements detected. We have been detected by the enemy. That's a torpedo. So that's fine. We have been detected by the enemy. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Alright, so we're going to have to move out of the way of that torpedo, but that's okay. Um, can you finish that for us? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
Okay, so that one is down. Now we just need to get it you. Could we wing it? That would be a straight out kill. Um, courageous. Nice shot. So, I can't remember if that's the third fighter. The third carry or not. I have a feeling it's the second, in which case there's one more coming. Alright, we'll give it one more turn. No, okay, that's it. So, we finish. Good work. Because uh, of all the damage, you tend not to get as many points, but I mean, we had to kind of move to make those shots, and the plus 10% to skill. Um, yeah, so the formidable upgraded to elite. Uh, we'll, we'll have a look at all of that afterwards. From Scott Torres. 50. So, 75%, so uh, one more mission ought to do it for us. Let's have a quick look. Um, right, yeah, so the formidable has gone to elite, which is fantastic, plus 20% to crew will. But the Dauntless is still on 10%, but they didn't get to do much that turn, and they can't be that far off. Uh, and the Audacious is still on, not on that much. Look at how cheap it is to repair all this stuff now. That is just fantastic. Um, so, let's carry out what repairs we can. Um, could buy some more energy, but I, I have a feeling we're not going to be using the, sh the ship as again this turn. Um, right, so we're going to move back, first of all. Um, cool. And then we're going to have a look at this dark matter, see if we can get to something beyond it. Okay, so there is a movement. Yeah, like we thought. So that's... Nemesis 77 is a pirate world. Um, so we will be capping that too. Uh, we just won't be able to... It's in the, sorry, the Marauder world or two because the pirate world. But we won't be able to get it at this turn. Uh, we'll need a bigger fleet still. So, um, move back. Uh, we've exhausted the planets nearest to us that we can um, gain influence on. We can't do anything else without rubbing up against the other powers now. So... Um, we're going to consolidate, so we're going to, over the future, just to lay out what, what's going to be happening. So we're going to finish capping that, we're going to build up to take Tortuga, and that should also leave us with a large enough fleet to then take on any of these guys. Things to watch out for are um, them spamming cities. Uh, so you, I think you win if you get to 71 million population first, uh, which I think in future I might take off, just because it's not particularly interesting as a, as a victory condition. But I think I've accidentally left it on this time. Um, at any rate, we'll, we'll keep an eye out on that. Um, we're just second behind yellow in terms of how many planets we own, and that'll go up as soon as we take uh, this one. So we, we're not doing too badly, all in all. Um, so yes, we're going to go on short leave. Wow, so they bought two new ships. Ooh, got one straight after Nemesis, and then this is retreated. Right, so. What's ours is yours. For a price. Oh gosh. Okay, green just took out purple. You saw it here first. Um, right, so they've now got a very, very large empire. So it might even be worth us. Might even be worth us going kind of straight for the yellow home world. What is their fleet like? I can see... Looks like seven ships, which might be a bit much for us right now. Um, Wait, is this green? Because we're not interested in green. Sorry, I'm just Fast Destroyer, Fast Assault Cruiser, Assault Destroyer. Or so they haven't they haven't improved them as much. Like they have a lot of corvettes they've just seem to have uh, put into it. So it's actually not a huge fleet. Um, the only thing to worry about is that they'll have they'll have megabots on their home world, um, which aren't a huge a huge damper in our plans. But they are something to worry about. Um, they, they were, it's effectively three extra ships. Um, but it might be worth doing soon. Um, so we're not interested in warp control. Damage control might be really useful. Yeah, I'm gonna build damage control. Um, um, right, particularly as our home world, so I'm gonna build another city. 
Uh, we don't have enough food for anything else, I think, but that's okay. Um, let's... Let's make the... Mm, so, uh, we're either going defensive or offensive here. Um... Completed. We're materials level defensive. Two. We'll make use of our, our higher arm attacks so far. Um, uh, so, right, we don't have a lot of metal left over. Um, but, well, we ought to actually leave what's left. We have left for a warp tunnel. Um, so, let's have a look at our fleet again. Finish those repairs. Um, I think I will add another ship, but let, let's have a look at improvements first. Um, definitely more damage. It'll cost 900 for extra armor on everyone, but I'm okay with that. And then we need a little bit extra speed. Cool. Um, let's up lasers, one more, and then I'm gonna add another ship, the SS Gallant. Um, Right, so they're not going to really be useful for a while, but um, but let's give them a little bit of stuff to be partly helpful. Okay. Um, right. So let's go and do the doomsday experiment. We've done something like that before, so we know... I think we've done it in this campaign, so uh, that's where they've got the one big ship we have to kill. Um, so that shouldn't be too difficult, really. That will put us in a good stead. Scott Doris, 50. The planetary information. Especially low concentrated ionized particles, which will increase the range of our sensors and weapons. Terrific. Yeah, so it's just a really big one. Chance of mission success, 80. Oh gosh, but it, it couldn't deploy percent. six fighters. Alright, so this one doesn't have good damage output, but has a lot of fighters, so we're going to want to get it a pretty early. So, a bit different to the last one. Um, it's got slightly better speed than the last one, I think. Yes. Alright, but we ought to be ready. And we still have these stealth fighters with us. Maybe we must just have them permanently now, I guess. Um, Right, so the Courageous is our fighter, sh fighter deployer, fighters so they're going to be launching fighters. Uh, oh, the Gallant started fighters, that's really cool. Um, um, we'll move the Gallant up a little bit, make them fighters launched. fighters. Um, let's move the Dauntless. So we're going to make him come towards us in the way we want. So he's not going to come up this way, he's going to come in through here. Which is essentially what we want. Um, we'll hang on to the other torpedoes then. Um, yeah, we'll hang on to the other torpedoes. Alright, so let's send all of these guys on flanking runs. We'll put them out of the way of being detectable and with stealth. Engaging stealth systems. So that they can kind of sweep them from the flanks. Engaging stealth systems. Put you into cover. The fighters can stay there. And I 
think that's gonna be it for us. I guess we can start just for show. Alright, fighters move. Close more. Let's go closer. Alright, so. That's fine. Let's run its course into what it was supposed to do. Um, right, so if we're. We might be able to finish it this turn if we're careful. Um, those fighters might be things to worry about, but. So, really, what we need to do is cripple the shield and then send the Dauntless in to finish it off. So. Um. The Garden's not going to be able to do enough damage to really be of any help, so we might as well just use it to send out the Torpedo. Um, let's have a look at what these ships can do. Take 34. Alright, engines disabled. That's fine by me. Um, So we ought to be able to move there and then move one back into cover, so we will get a shot. A glancing, but a shot to shot. Alright, another shot to engines. Um, they just can get in a shot. More damage to engines. Um, Let's essentially finish now, though. Um, right, so let's finish off with a big shot. Good work. Oh, okay, we didn't even have to take out the fighters. Cool. Scott Torres, fifty. Right, so they're with us. Uh, free tech. It's gonna be field theory. Completed field theory. We're never gonna be able to field, afford field theory anymore. Um, ooh, stealth torpedoes. I do like stealth torpedoes. Um, next that means um, that um, our torpedoes aren't going to be detectable uh, to, once they've been fired to, uh, to other powers anymore, which I'm all, all about that. Right, so um, that's that. We've officially capped all the plans we can cap easily. Um, we still don't have enough to take on Tortuga, I feel, but we might have enough to knock Yellow out quite early. It's it's a bit of a gamble. Um, it is a gamble. Can't pretend it's not. But it would put us in good stead against Green, um, who's otherwise going to start going for Yellow. So the question before us is essentially this: Do we wait and hope that Green goes for Yellow first rather than us? Um, they do share a more direct border. Aside from um, Sculptorus, which we just took there, they, they might not be happy about that. Um, they do have a lot of high cities. Yeah, they, it looks like they're going for a cap, a population cap, um, which I'm not all that happy about. So it might just be worth kind of going for yellow now. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about it a bit, and maybe you guys can think about it too. Tell me what you think I should do, uh, whether it's worth going for yellow now, maybe it's worth uh, holding out, seeing what green does a little bit, um, or, yeah, kind of, uh, I mean, if we hold off one turn, we will be able to bring a fairly serious fleet to the game. Uh, they're obviously going to be able to pump more into their fleet, but we're seeing, seeing as we're already ahead, and we are raking about as much as they do, maybe a bit more. Gosh, they have nine on that planet. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll leave it there. It'll be a, bit, a little bit shorter than normal. But tell me what you guys think. Uh, you know how we should go about this in the future, um, and I'll have a think on it too. And we'll kind of uh, meet back in a, in a day or so and, and uh, see what we decide. Um, Thanks for watching. I, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, it's kind of getting more interesting now, now that we've done all the opening kind of capping of stuff. It's going to be more about uh, getting the fleet in, in good shape and finishing off these last two planets we have yet to take, which the, the computer normally doesn't get around to. And then we're going to be finishing off by uh, dealing with everyone else. 
Um, it looks like we're going to probably have to be going for kind of um, uh, capping home worlds. Um, in which case, we're going to have to get to Virginus 30 if we want to defeat Green, which might be easier said than done. We're going to have to kind of push in. But we'll see what we can do when we, when we, when we get there. Um, yes, uh, thanks for watching, um, and I will see you next time.